Brethren, and welcome again. Today's a bit different, and not just because I changed my underwear. I am going to do something I haven't done in nearly 20 years, and that's review a piece of hardware. Back in the days of your companies used to send me games, like actual boxes of games. Yeah, not shit you can just download now. And hardware to review. To test how old you are, the last piece of hardware I can remember reviewing was a video card by a company named 3DFX. If you remember them, feel old yet? <laughs> so this review is of something most people are excited to get, but soon forget once it's installed. A CPU. I myself am guilty of taking them for granted, and why not? I mean, they're... They're locked away in a case, hidden under a heat sink and a fan, and you just never see them. Well, times have changed though, and with the advent of window cases, companies have seen this as an opportunity to showcase their products. And having built PCs since the early, or early mid-90s, I could say this is a welcome trend. Yes, some may have taken it overboard, but thankfully a lot of manufacturers have designers that can make a tasteful product. One of those tastefully designed products is the AMD Ryzen 2700X. But make no mistake, this CPU is not just about looks. It just happens to be a nice bonus. The first thing you'll notice once you take it out of the box is the absolutely massive heatsink and fan combo that comes with it, which is called the Wraith. To give you an idea of the size of the thing, the CPU comes in what's about maybe three quarters of an inch of this side of the box. The rest of that is all in the freaking heat sink. That thing is ginormous, but it works wonders. I paired mine with the Asus ROG Strix B450F gaming motherboard, and the two together, frankly, just looks really damn good. Other heat sinks that came with CPUs before were kind of better served as paperweights while you shopped for a better, better and more effective one, like usually an aftermarket one because the ones that came from the manufacturers really weren't that good. But not the Wraith. Even under full load, this thing stays surprisingly cool and even more surprisingly, and thankfully, it's actually quite quiet. It looks cool too, thanks to the built-in RGB lighting, and right now, you in my eyes, it, this is hands down the best cooler that's ever shipped with a CPU. For a simple benchmark, I took one of my video files and rendered it before I upgraded, uh, which took 12 minutes and 50 seconds, and that was kind of a small one. I thought I'd be happy if I saw it 30% less time, but the 2700X did the same file with the same settings and did it in 5 minutes and 10 seconds. That's less than half the freaking time. So... Yes, the Ryzen blazes through videos like a teenager that just found Pornhub. The gaming is smoother, the editing is smoother, the streaming is smoother, it looks great. But this is still not the best part. What makes this truly great is the price. As of the time of this video, the Ryzen 2700X can be had for around $300. Expect to pay much more if you're going to be going uh, to be buying something comparable from Intel. So based on my experience for the last few weeks using this thing, I think AMD had hit a home run with this CPU. It's great for gamers, it's great for streamers, it's great for content creators. If you happen to do all these things like me, eh, this is the CPU you need to target. No, this isn't an in-depth statistical review, but more of a showing of what it's done for me and what it can do for you. If you are doing those same things that I am, like playing games, either making videos or streaming or all the above, this is what you need to get. It actually made me excited to talk about a processor and recommend it. I mean, so excited, well, I may <laughs> decide to give another one away uh, in the future. So thank you very much for tuning in and take care, folks.